modifying the plan view properties. So if I come over here, I'm in my rentable plan area plan, and uh, and that's really my fourth floor here uh, of my area plans. And there's some things I can change in here uh, that I want to set. You know, we could change this to a quarter inch equals a foot, for example. Change the size of the paper that we plot on, because uh, now we're going to need a bigger piece of paper, right? Uh, we could also change my display model. In my display model, I could go to half tone, where I don't display it at all. So a lot of times we'll do half tones when we're doing like demo work or something like that, where we just won't, we're just showing them uh, for reference the materials. And there's, uh, you know, we don't really need to see all the beds in full line work. So if we, this is an area like an area plan where we they don't really care to see everything. They just want to know which tenant is renting what. And um, so you might want to go half tone there. The detail level. The detail level we have right now is coarse. And we can go to medium and fine. And of course, when we get the fine, we're showing all the line works in the wall. And when you know we're coarse, we're just showing some of the line works in the wall. So you know, if we have an external wall and uh, we're zooming in on that thing, uh, and we go to fine, for example. Oop. We go to fine. We're gonna see all the line work in here. And for a floor plan, we don't really care to see all the line work uh, for the most part when they're building it. Um, they just need to see the basics, uh, you know, in the course view for the for that. So they don't need to see all that. Uh, the view name. Um, we actually have a name for this, and um, we come down, and right here the view name, and right now it's it says fourth floor, and I might want to go with fourth floor, um, oop, fourth floor area, um, rentable area, for example. And I want to apply that, and I'll say yes. So now you'll see that fourth floor rentable area is updated, so we know a little bit more about it. Uh, also, we can go down to the view range. Uh, the view range. If we come down a little bit here, we go to edit the view range. The view range tells us about where we're seeing this view. So we're seeing where the top and the bottom is. If we take a slice of this building, where is we're looking at it from the top and where are we looking at it from the bottom? And where are we cutting it? Typically on a floor plan, we're cutting it at four feet above the floor uh, that we walk on. And so it's just saying, hey, ignore everything above seven foot six, ignore everything below uh, one or zero feet. And so we're, we're how much we're, what are we looking at things? And also, um, we have the crop vi uh, region visible. So let's take a look at that. Up here, we have the crop view and the crop view visible. So when we turn that on, we're actually cropping the view. Uh, and we can say, yeah, you know what? We can go into crop a view, and we can actually make a crop view smaller than what we need. So let's say we only want to see portion of this. We can crop it out or cut it out and show what we want to show and and that's it. So we have the ability to crop some of the view if needed. So we can modify the various properties of our plan views here underneath in our properties dialog box.